Hello everyone, it is now time to check out the Armenian entry for Eurovision. I am not sure if they actually revamped it or not, but I know that they added a music video to it. So if there's nothing different with the song, we'll just listen to it again. I don't really mind that. So uh, let's get going. It's real loud. <laughs> Iar po cu hor cu m-am dund Im încheiere menuțiune, dar nu I love these wind elements going on here Natalie se par să-i tarță Am perim vor cocher parmen arun Nice vocal thing going on in the left ear here Urbațele cu ai țere like the wind, that's such an atmosphere to it. It's a very natural sounding acoustic guitar going on here. I like it. Like, his voice can kind of create a structure in the song on its own. It really no- like, he doesn't need the instruments to build. The way- just the way he works with his voice can kind of create- it can build, it can put it down. It's quite a- a really cool thing to be able to do. When the music doesn't have to be the focus of your song, when your vocals can actually guide and direct the whole thing. There's some nice effect work in this song. The strings, really nice touch. Let's build. Ooh. Here we go. Love the vocal chanting. Drums are really digital, but they're really energetic and hectic in it. They really fill out it nicely. Here we go. That guitar is just screaming. <laughs> Such an emotional punch in the ending there. Alright, um, yeah that was it. Let's talk about it. So for starters, I think it should be pointed out that if you haven't seen, I made like some top videos in the national final season and I made one for Armenia and this was my first place. So obviously I'm a fan of the song. Uh, it has a brilliant, brilliant structure going for it, and the way that his voice actually carries everything that goes on in the song. It's a really cool concept going for it. The uh, instrumentation is somewhat simplistic, to be honest. I kind of, um, I kind of remember it to be greater, but when you actually sit down and analyze it with the headphones, it's kind of, like, you, you notice that it's not as powerful as maybe you thought it was at first. Still, his voice is kind of what makes it that powerful, and I think live it will really excel in what he wants to do with it. Other than that, I mean, the the um, it's a quite a digital little production they've got for here. It's uh, The drums are super digital, but it kind of works with the whole atmosphere. They can really make something kept quite compelling with these digital drums. Maybe, like, real acoustic drums would have been a better choice, I'm not really sure, because this works in its own way, but it could have been cool to hear it in another version as well, if uh, if it would sound greater, or if it would just ruin the whole thing. The strings are a nice addition, they're kind of toned down, or very toned down, but still they add something to the soundstage, they fill it out a little extra. The guitar, like the electric guitar towards the end, is just doing some kind of solo, and at the start of that it's just 
this really screechy note which can put some people off but for me like in certain songs that is just incredible um, other than that I think that there's like this piano arrangement going through the entire song it's basically based around the piano to really highlight his greatness in his vocals so the piano kind of gets the um, gets the supporting job of just of just basically supporting him and it does it nicely it has some nice melodies going in there the sound of it is really vibrant and ambient and it fills out an ambience very nicely but yeah his vocals is really what ultimately is in centrum of this song and i kind of feel like if he's bad live the song will be terrible but if he's good live which i'm I, I know he's gonna be then this can be a real standout if they stage it nicely and if everything just comes together perfectly for them then this could really be a very strong contender in my opinion those are my views on this song what are yours leave your opinions in the comments and uh, i'll see you next time bye bye